Lesson 6.1a, representing ratios with models, writing ratios. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. A ratio tells us how many times greater one quantity is to another quantity. And the ratio of green gems to pink gems is 1 to 4. This means there's one green gem and four pink gems. Now here we have two pink gems and eight blue gems. The ratio of pink gems to blue gems is two to eight, or one to four. Two to eight means for every two pink gems, there are eight blue gems. One to four means for every one set of pink gems, there are four sets of blue gems. Here we have one pink gem and four blue gems. The ratio of pink gems to blue gems is one to four. There's one pink, there's four blue. The ratio of pink gems to all gems is one to five. There's one pink gem, there's five in all. If we have two pink gems, we have one here and one here, we'll have eight blue gems. For every pink gem, we have four blue ones. So if we have two pink ones, we'll have eight blue ones. We use the rule blue gems equals pink gems times four. So if we had five pink gems, how many blue gems would we have? Well, blue gems is equal to pink times four. If we have five pink, that would be five times four. That means we'd have 20 blue gems. For each pink gem, we have four blue ones. So we can just do the number of pink times four to find the blue. For each cat, that Bob adopted, he adopted three dogs. If Bob adopted a total of four cats, how many dogs would he have adopted? Our rule is the number of dogs is going to equal cats times three. We have one cat, three dogs. If we have four cats, we'll do four times three. That tells us the number of dogs is 12. What we're doing is every time we add a cat, we're adding three dogs. So if there's four, we can just multiply it times three. We get 12 dogs. The ratio of cats to dogs is one to three. Now, how many cats and dogs will he have in all? Well, he had four cats and 12 dogs. That's 16 animals. The numbers in a ratio are called terms. We have 12 dogs to four cats. The 12 and four are terms. And we can write a ratio several different ways. We can write it like this, 12 dogs to four cats. We can write 12 to four. We can write 12 to four. We read this colon as two, 12 to four. And be careful, don't for confuse the colon, the two dots with a semicolon, which is like a period over a comma. Don't confuse those, we're using a colon. We can also write it as a fraction, 12 over four. A ratio can compare a part to a part. We have three carrots and one ear of corn. A part to a part would be three carrots to one corn. We can write it as three to one. We can write it with a colon as three to one or we can write it as a fraction, as a three over one. A ratio can compare a part to the whole. There are three carrots to four vegetables. Three to four with a colon, three to four or three fourths. We can say three fourths of these vegetables are carrots. A ratio can compare the whole to a part. We can say there's four vegetables to one corn, four to one. 
written as a col with a colon as 4 to 1. We can say 4 over 1 as a fraction. So remember, we can compare a part to the whole or a whole to the part. It's not always just three carrots to one corn. We can compare it to the whole group, three carrots to four vegetables. So now we've finished this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part of the lesson where we're going to learn about equivalent ratios. So just remember, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities. It tells us how many times greater one quantity is to another quantity. Have a nice day, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.